If you have experienced fuel pump failure on your Yamaha WR250R or X, we're gonna get into it and change this fuel pump out. A few of the earlier years of these Yamaha bikes were plagued with bad fuel pumps and I managed to get about 7,500 miles on my bike before the fuel pump died. But of course it did die when I was the deepest I could possibly be in the woods. So I had to push it out and then trailer it the rest of the way home. So here we are, we're gonna change out the fuel pump. Okay, so to get this connector loose, first you pull the orange tab up like that, and then you've got these blue pins on either side. You reach in there and grab it, squeeze the blue pins together, push it on, squeeze, and it'll pop right off. Okay, at this point now we have a lot of fuel in the tank. Um, I may just try to leave the fuel in there and we'll just go ahead and put it on the workbench and see what we can do. So I just used an old box and just propped it up so that the fuel pump is level. That way we can pop the thing out and we don't have to empty the fuel out of the tank. So I'm first gonna clean up this dirt around the edge of this, of this retaining ring so that we don't drop any of that dirt into our tank. And you wanna make sure you orient the fuel pump, the new fuel pump, same way as the old. So this is your locator here on the fuel pump housing itself, a little indention on your metal, your aluminum ring. And here is our new Yamaha part number. So this fuel pump is blue on top. This one is black. It's curious that the wires look thinner than the original wires. I'm gonna take some compressed air and just blow this thing off. Not that there's anything on it, but just to be sure. Here's our gasket. Gasket looks good. There's no tears or anything like that in it. The raised part is going to go down on the fuel pump. Uh, so this flat side mates with the fuel tank. And if you slide it over the wrong way, it's just not gonna line up. So upon flipping it over, lining up the tabs, pops down flush, nice. So in we go. There was no Loctite on these threads that I can see, so we're not gonna go back with Loctite. But they were torqued pretty good. And always, if you have a ring like this, you're gonna tighten them down in a cross pattern, just like you would a wheel on a car. Right. 
And you can see I'm putting a good amount of torque because it's actually stops turning there. And I'm going another 90 degrees with my little T-wrench here. So I've got them all torqued down now. I'm just going to go around them one more time. Let's put it back on the bike in the reverse order we took it off. In hindsight, I would go ahead and drain the gasoline from the tank because the seal on the gas cap is definitely not 100% watertight. So go ahead and drain your gasoline out into something so that you can recover it and use it later. So I've got it sitting on here. Let's, uh, let's fire it off. Let's see if we hear the fuel pump. Call that fixed. Got the WR all fixed up, maintenance complete, fuel pump repaired, ready to get back on the road slash trail.